Hey, it's Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit. Thanks for watching. Today, we're gonna to talk about five categories of things that you can 3D print that are actually useful. There's many more than five, but we're gonna just start with five. Here we go. Okay, number one on our list is gonna be organizers, desk organizers, uh, screw organizers, whatever. This is one of my favorite. This is a USB and storage organizer. So I can put my USB sticks on here, but also you can see my micro SD cards down here and then the adapters or actually full size SD cards as well. This is a great thing I can put on my desk and have my USB sticks easily accessible. I really, really appreciate this. This one I haven't printed yet, but it's on my list. And I just thought it was really a fun uh, pen holder. It's a Julius Caesar pen holder by Derailed up on Thingiverse, and it also shows a different aspect of 3D printing. Of course, you can print bins or whatever, but this is a more of a statuesque art piece. This is a tray holder. There's tons of these up on Thingiverse. There are tons of them out there for free, and if you want to organize anything for screws or small parts, you can 3D print not only the, the shelves themselves, but the entire holder for it. The other cool thing is you can print things that will fit into your desk. Uh, for instance, like desk inserts to organize, stacking trays, stuff like that. I just think that's really, really cool. I've been really happy with my USB organizer and I've had a couple of requests for other people to print it. It's a big winner. So organization, thing number one. For the second category, we're gonna talk about pegboards and slat walls. I have a slat wall in my garage I really enjoy, but the, the pegs for it are quite expensive. I also use pegboards in both my garage and in my makerspace. You can see in my um, organization of makerspace video, I talk about pegboards quite a bit and how excited I am to have one. This one, uh, Pegster, is one of my favorite things on Thingiverse because there are so many pieces of this here. And as I show you my wall, you can see things like the, uh, the ruler mount. I've got my uh, flashlight and even my IR thermometer has a pegboard mount that's come off a of Thingiverse. There's just quite a few things here. And you know, I've been to Home Depot quite a bit for pegboard stuff. I've never found something to hold a pair of digital calipers great, but here you see I can have my digital calipers up on the pegboard. Really appreciate that. For the slat wall, I've taken some of these. I have a daughter and I've taken her formula boxes, cut a hole in them, in them and then 3D printed a holder. It fits right in the slat wall and it gives me some great bins for things like screws and nails to throw them up on my slat wall for very inexpensive. Next thing I wanna talk about is headphones and holders, things that hold stuff like headphones. Uh, also VR headsets. This one here by Helix Lab is my favorite in what I like about this and what I didn't realize about 3D printing is sometimes your 3D print can be part of an entire project. So Helix Lab here has a great YouTube video of how to assemble this project. It's in French, but it's translated. And using some EL wire and 3D prints, you can have a beautiful, beautiful headphone holder. I also have my VR headsets mounted under my desk. There's a lot of under desk mounts. This one attaches the side of Ikea. You just put a little bit of double stick tape on there to hold it and it's a little bit messy, but it holds my headset in a nice place off my wall. If you want something a little bit more organized, you can get this set here, which will mount them up on the wall and hold your controllers. This is when you get a bit more specific. Instead of printing a generic headset holder, you print the specific Oculus Touch and mount holder. Speaking of cabling and clean, this is my preferred way to take headsets onto airplanes. Uh, this is a very simple print. You print a little triangle and it works for any type of headset, or I'm sorry, uh, earbud holder. It's very, very simple and easy and clean. And they don't get tangled up in my backpack anymore, which is a huge, huge win. Next thing I wanna talk about is tablet and phone mounts. Uh, this is my favorite for that. This is called the modular mounting system. This thing here I use for so much. If I do my um, if I do my time lapse videos of my 3D printer, I use this to hold the phone. It's very clean and very um, you know can mount all sorts of different ways. What I like is that it's very simple to uh, move around and adjust, but also the screw will allow it to clamp on a lot of different things, and it also has a triangular mount here as well. It's very handy. 
some other mounts that I want to talk about is I've got the wall tablet mount here. This mount is uh, great for holding a tablet up against the wall. It's uh, acts almost as a second screen for my arcade setup. And then I can just simply pull the tablet up off the wall and take it with me. So that's really handy. And meanwhile, when it's on the wall, it can be charging. I love that. The simple tablet mounts, I love these. These are, have different angles. You can tilt the, the you know, they'll hold the tablet or a phone. And I can use these if I'm recording and I want the phone held upright. I can use it if I'm watching a video. I can have it tilted back a bit. The desk tablet mount is really slick because I can use it for everything from Netflix to my baby camera. I'll watch my daughter on it. If I'm watching TV, I can have that off to the side. It's a very inexpensive, very easy print. Uh, also works great for security cameras, or right now we've got some snow. I can watch the kids sledding out front on a little screen off to the side. Next thing I want to talk about is mounts and cases. Uh, there's quite a few things here. I have controller mounts, which I really enjoy. When somebody walks into my room, this always catches their eye and I get comments on it. And it was a lot cooler than putting all my controllers into a bin and getting the wires tangled up. Um... There's a number of these on Thingiverse. The Commodore 64 and Atari one at the bottom, I actually created and threw up there uh, because the earliest uh, controller was the, the NES controllers. But basically, if you're going to mount something to a wall, there's probably a 3D print for it to get it up there. Here's one for N64 games. I thought this was really cool because I had never really thought about displaying games before. But this just goes to show you there are 3D prints that I would have never thought of. And I thought this one was really slick. There's also ones for uh, PS4 games and, uh, you know, everything before and after, which is kind of cool. My Xbox 360, I really enjoy it. It's got digital games on it, and most of them are arcade games. So I don't have to put discs in, but I wanted it, I didn't have a place to put it on top of my desk. So for my arcade setup, I printed 3D printed mounts to mount it under the desk upside down. I did upside down for airflows because it does depend on that top vent, but this made my 360 basically disappear under my arcade sticks, and I thought that was really cool. Again, if I search for a 360 under desk mount, I probably don't get a lot of options on uh, websites for shopping, but for 3D printing, there's quite a few. There's also Raspberry Pi cases and Arduino cases, basically any kind of electronics that you're doing. And there's a lot of fun ones out there. There's Raspberry Pi cases. This one right here looks like a Super NES case. I've talked about the NES case one before. Just about any console um, or game system, you can find a Raspberry Pi case that look, uh, for it. Also, you can customize the Raspberry Pi cases or just print a very simple one. My favorite, I think, is that there's Raspberry Pi cases for Raspberry Pis with hats and ditch added on. So if you have like a sensor hat on top, you can 3D print a special case for that combo. Arduinos, also another electronic, very common now for the hobbyists, and you can get uh, cases for Arduinos from uh, not only the big Unos, like this one here, the 101s even, but the small, tiny uh, ESP8266s, the D1 Wemos, all sorts of cases for those that normally would be something you'd have to wait for uh, shipping or, you know, maybe you could DIY it, but... 3D printing just seems to make it super easy and inexpensive to print and get. The last category I want to talk about is 3D printer upgrades. I just bought an Ender 3 Pro and one of the first things I started printing were upgrades for it and accessories. I got the initial cable clamps in the back here. I also got the tray and I've also printed some of the other add-ons here. You can see things like cable chains. Uh, and the filament guide that actually helps the filament go into the correct area. The thing about 3D printing printer upgrades, the reason it's so useful is a lot of 3D printers have issues that are found after they come out or there's accessories that you'd want for them, such as a tool tray. And because the 3D printing community is uh, so passionate about their printers, they will create a ton of upgrades that can make your printer print, you know, infinitely better. Some of the printers for the Ender 3 Pro I feel like are almost must-haves, such as the cable clamps. Otherwise, there's just no wire management on it out of the box. So 3D prints for your printer upgrades that would probably be one of the first things I search for. They're incredibly useful, and they can really make the printer a lot easier to use. 
Okay, so that's five topics. Of course, there are a ton more and there are just hundreds of things to print out there. But when I first got my 3D printer, I was looking for some something that was just useful. And I was looking for ideas to print. And I feel like this video will probably give you some ideas of categories that you can deep dive on and find out how they relate to you. You know, maybe you don't need a Arduino holder, but maybe you need a holder for I don't know, scrunchies or something, and there will be something out there that you can find. Let's see here. There you go. Scrunchie holders on Thingiverse, and there's a ton of them. So um, I use Thingiverse as one of my main sites for this type of stuff. There's other sites like my mini factory for miniatures and, and such, but for this stuff right now, Thingiverse has been my main site. If you have other suggestions for sites, please let me know in the comments below so that we as a community can get smarter and learn more. I really appreciate you watching this video and being patient with me. I was away at CES, so if you hit subscribe, I'll have some videos coming from my CES follow-ups of what I saw on the show floor. And uh, I'm going to keep the videos coming. You guys have been great. I really appreciate the uh, enthusiasm and positive comments. Thanks. Thanks so much. I'm Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit, and I'll talk to you soon.